This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Guard, aside from the inmates and prison guards, does anyone else have access to this room? Um, well, this is a prison facility after all. Only inmates and prison guards come here. Mr. Shields? <laughs> what are you saying? There are others that come in here. Aside from the inmates and prison guards, there are certain things that can enter this room. He looks like- okay, have you seen that meme with the little girl with the pigtails? It's like- Yep. <laughs> yeah. He looks like that. <laughs> are you talking about them? But they're... Who are they? Mr. Shields, what are these things that you speak of? Is it of? thing one and thing two? It should be obvious. You came all the way here without seeing one, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Usually you can find them walking around the prison facility. Well, you'll see one once you leave the room, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Hey! You're just saying that to get Mr. Edgeworth to leave, pal! What now? Don't you trust me? Mr. Detective, you have a big body but a small mind. Oh gosh, okay, keep I going. I won't even ask. We'll keep going. What did you say, pal? Detective Gumshoe? Duh. S sorry, sir. Come on, follow me. I'll show you what Uncle Ray has been talking about. Out we go. March 27th, 11.06 a.m., prison anyway? hallway. Oh, are we gonna meet Tina Fey? Yes. Kermit! Kermit! <laughs> this place is a little different from your normal prison. There are more than just the prisoners and guards living here. Oh my gosh, it's a comfort pony! <laughs> comfort pony, comfort rabbit, comfort pig, comfort cat, and comfort red-headed baboon. <laughs> animals? Yep, animals. According to the guard, they introduced animal therapy here several years ago. That's like the best thing ever. Each prisoner is assigned one animal. In other words, they receive a pet partner. Huh. That seems kind of fun. Plus, learning to take care of their pet is a great qualification to have. Ah, so you mean the, the workroom? Yep. That's where the prisoners practice taking care of their pets. This is a great prison, man, if they do that. That's... I need that. I don't need pet therapy <laughs> in prison, but I need pet therapy. So, so the, then the fiend you mentioned that could enter the crime scene is... Right these animals. Is there a dog? But that doesn't make any sense, pal! Why would an animal leave behind a rubber glove? <laughs> quite right. But the fact remains that they could have entered the crime scene. Mr. Edgeworth, can you please talk some sense into this man? Mr. Shields, are the animals allowed to go wherever they please? Most of the doors in this prison are fitted with sensors. The sensors not only sound an alarm in response to the prisoner's bracelets, they also respond to the animal's microchip and open the doors for them. Microchip? It's like a tiny machine embedded under the animal's skin. All it takes is a simple injection, psh, and the microchip is inserted. Watch, it's gonna be like, someone's an animal. <laughs> like, in the, in the prison, like, like someone, someone has that microchip. Someone has a microchip, just oh. the previous stuff, and then, like, the prisoner can just get through. That's your theory? That's my theory. All That's right, totally That's a good theory. theory. I like that. <laughs> Cause that was the thing that they wanted to do for a while, right? Is like, have like a micro trip in people, so that oh, they could I like- Oh, I hope not. I had heard about that. That's really creepy on I so many levels. I agree, but- What? Right. That sounds painful! I've heard it's not that painful. But anyway, since the animals aren't criminals, they are allowed to move around freely. How ironic. The ones with the most freedom in this prison are the animals. Oh my gosh, Doors do data updated. Talk? No. Well, How would any animal talk? <laughs> well, I thought, like, so for example, because there's more prisoners than five, I thought maybe, like, there'd be, like, a really weird parrot or something, and then you were like, that's the voice I'm gonna have to do, and it's like... Bah, bah, bah. If it's a parrot, then you can do the voice. Okay. You did Polly's voice. Yeah, but I sounded like a robot. Yeah, it was terrible. It was great. <laughs> but still, they can't go out of the prison. The prison's entrance does not have a sensor. Oh. Hmm? What's that? Is that a bell? W what's that? Is it a stampede? Hey, dog! Uh, that thing looks scary. What's this? This dog? 
It has a bell on its collar. Ching, 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 Was this the sound that we heard earlier? What did we hear earlier? A bell sound. That looks like an evil dog. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! Why are you glaring at each other? I mustn't lose! Mr. Edgeworth! You're not good with dogs, are you, sir? I'll tame that dog myself! Here, boy! Here, boy! I, like, suck at taming dogs. That's a mean dog. Yeah, imagine it with the cat. It completely ignored me, sir! Yeah, walk by the cat, no problem, actually. Compared to the other animals, there's something different about this one. I'm sensing a great hostility towards me only. He doesn't like Manfred von Karma. Maybe Edgeworth had a dog, and then he had to get rid of the dog. And that's the same and dog. And that's the same dog. <laughs> Never fury. Well, now that I've introduced you to the animals, what's next on the agenda? Also, that's a tiny little pony. Of course, we co uh, we <laughs> of course we question those related to the case, pal. Yes, we should gather information about the state of things when the body was discovered. We'll start with you in that cell. Tell us what you know. Uh, he pointed away from them. Sup? <laughs> He's completely ignoring me, sir. Y you there? Do you know anything about the incident? Ugh. He's scary. <laughs> Don't be so cold. Come on, you can talk to us. Or, how about an introductory hug? He's behind bars, dude. It's time. What was that? S sorry uh, was Uncle Ray's joke a little too much? He's a polar bear? Exercise time! This man is clearly odd! Welcome to Ace Attorney! <laughs> it's uh, Mike Tyson's reject boxer. <laughs> I need to get some answers from him. Also, why is there a polar bear clinging to him? Your name is me, a uh, prisoner number D two five nine J Elbird. Jailbird, really gay? <laughs> oh, I thought I thought it was like a blue J or something. <laughs> nope, Jailbird is his name. Jailbird. Gotta raise my metabolism. I can't let my muscles rest. Muscles aside, it looks like you've lost a lot of weight. Half of the match is won even before it has begun. Yeah, gotta make the weight limit. Uh, are you entering some kind of tournament? Ah, perhaps as a boxer? Yeah, I'm a former boxer, but exercise is just a hobby of mine. Well then, it sure looks like it's a bear's hobby too. <laughs> He's hanging on like an apron, so cute. This is Rocky the Polar Bear. He's my partner. I love that. He's loosened his ton. Maybe we can try asking him now. Where were you and Rocky at the time of the incident? I don't know anything. I got nothing to say to you. That's for me to decide. Now answer the question. D didn't I just tell you I know nothing? <sighs> he has no intention of talking. In that case, you've got no choice but to use that. Yes, if he insists he has nothing to do with this, we'll just have to prove there's a connection. Mr. Elbert, by all means, you will tell us what you know. Time for the chess dimension! We're playing chess with a prisoner. Now, let's analyze the situation. Oh, I have to play. Crap. Yep. A fighting stance. It seems like he has become agitated. No. In these circumstances, a direct confrontation would be pointless. When my opponent becomes agitated, I should calmly wait and see. When I see an opening, I will not hold back. Now, let's question him about his knowledge of the incident. To start with, I'll ask about his movements today. I'll have to tire him out before the sound of the bell. Begin logic chess. Can you tell me what you have done today? A answer me! Huh? If you want to fight with me, get into your fighting stance! What? Are you throwing in the towel already? 
This is not a fist fight. Welcome to the war that is chess. By the way, hasn't all that moving around tired you out? Don't underestimate my stamina! You wanna test me with that body of yours? I ain't tired at all. Well, first off, I held back in my training today. I just stayed quietly in my cell. Quietly? Then what's with all that sweat? B buzz off! That's all I've gotta say. I'm getting a little tired. You're a well-trained boxer. However, you need more practice in the art of lying. Getting a little tired? That's not possible. You said that you stayed quietly in your cell until just a moment ago. Rocky, it looks like this is gonna be one tough opponent. This man, it looks like he's still hiding something. Next, I'll ask him about the time of the incident. I do not need to use fists. My words alone are enough for a KO. Do you recall what you were doing at the time of the incident? Sleeping. Rocky was too. The incident happened just a few moments ago. You look wide awake to me. Muscles strengthen when they're resting. Sleep is important. Well then, I'm sorry to have woken you. Rest is a part of training, right? Uh oh! S so you get it after all. Not bad, Mr. Prosecutor. Oh? I don't recall ever introducing myself as a prosecutor. How did you know? No one else wears cravats! <laughs> <laughs> That's. The conversation we had when we first entered this room. Were you by any chance eavesdropping on us? In that case, there's no way you could have been asleep. You lied to us! How could you? I trusted you! <laughs> a prisoner! You got me there. You pack a nice punch. Yeah, I lied about sleeping. So what? I was just exercising in this room. You got a problem with that? Well, I now know he was awake. I should remember this clue. When the incident occurred, did you notice anything unusual about the prison? Huh? Are oh, you tired already? <laughs> Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Rocky, you hearing this? I got no time for jibber jabber. Wanna eat a knuckle sandwich? Ah, that was a wasted remark. That's fine. When he gets worked up, he enters his fighting stance. During those times, I should calmly wait and see. And strike when he drops his guard. Uh... If you don't want to fight, get out of the ring! Ugh, I was too passive. Dang it. It's fine. When he gets worked up, you should wait and see. He wasn't worked up. Was... When the incident occurred... Huh? I don't know anything. <laughs> Answer the question. What was the situation like this at the time of the incident? Sorry, but I got no answers for you. I was asleep then. Rocky was too. Let's try using that clue. Why aren't you exercising? Stop telling such an obvious lie. Didn't you admit it to it earlier? You were exercising. <sighs> Looks like I just ate a counter. Your back's against the ropes, and there's no way out. Just confess already. Okay, I killed him. Case over. <laughs> hey, quiet down a bit. If outsiders like you make a racket, you'll frighten the animals again. Again? Maybe all of the animals got frightened and the horse ran him over and stepped on his neck. And With then... a knife attached to his foot. <laughs> and then the horse had a knife! <laughs> You've been persistent. However, I'm afraid you're about to hit the mat. You said again just now. Did something happen earlier? To frighten the animals? Gah! 
Look at how mad that polar bear is. He is rocky. He's the polar like, bear. bro. D damn it! How could I have gotten sucker punched like that? Y yeah. There was this great scream back then. It startled the animals. Dane! I would never have lost in a real rain. Hmm. <laughs> Checkmate. You're getting really good at the logic. You pick up on logic chess really fast. See, I'm, logic good, chess at, I'm good at logic chess, regular chess, ooh. No, I also suck at regular chess. I feel logic like I could get really good I, at the chess, The only though. reason I missed that one was because I was kind of like, oh, I have to try and I see have if to try this. Funny. So, yeah. And then the other one, I, I didn't You're like, oh, you, you probably thought they both were fake yeah. delays. Most of the time they are. I believe this proves that you do know something about the case. Damn. Okay, I'll talk. I'll talk. You did it, Mr. Edgeworth. Don't lose focus, Kay. The real game has just begun. But I want to talk to a Let's just stop for a moment. Uncle Ray's got one important thing to say. It must be fate that has brought us together after all these years. Okay. I've received the opportunity to observe your skills carefully. And... I'll be giving a detailed report to that person about how much you've grown. Uh, who's that person? You didn't know? The truth is... This doesn't concern Kay. She doesn't need to know. W Whoa there. <laughs> you scared me. Don't get so worked up. You can do what you like. It doesn't matter to me. How have you been leading your life ever since you were tainted by the Von Karma way? I'm sure that person would be interested. I feel that it's my duty to report it to him. Phoenix Wright never hangs out with the defense attorneys. I'll expose your mistakes here. I won't let you disappoint him any further. You think he's reporting to Phoenix Wright? Yeah. Mr. Edgeworth, just what are you guys talking about? Don't concern yourself with it. Our only opponent now is Elbird. Well then, let's hear it. What do you know about the case? First of all, though, we got the profiles. Raymond Shields, 36. <laughs> an old defense attorney, an old acquaintance I've not seen for years, went abroad. J. Albert is 31. Former boxer, now prisoner. Obsessed with training. He has his pet polar bear named Rocky. You're gonna be sorry. How can the polar About bear stand the prison? Also, he's out of the prison cell. <laughs> that, just ignore that. Haha! <laughs> 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 I tricked you into a cross-examination run. <laughs> Recreation time ended at around 10 a.m. I returned to this room and went straight to my training. Just as I countered to, to, counter to two, I heard his voice shout out, Ah! I've been stabbed! It sounded like someone in pain, calling out for help. But, I couldn't do anything since I was locked up in my cell. So I went back to my training. It's either gonna be real, or it's gonna be like the troll in the dungeon! The jets! The jets! <laughs> what you want to know? That's odd. You really weren't bothered by that shout? Even if I was, there was nothing I could do. Look out for number one before you look out for others. That's the basic rule in prison. Indeed. Even if he wanted to take a look, he'd still be locked in his cell. Is that all that training equipment yours? You seem to have quite a collection. I get them from the supplier. Supplier? You can get just about anything if you put in an order. It's our secret shop. That's quite convenient. So if Uncle Ray wanted a cute girl... <laughs> In that case, you should order a book on how to give testimony. <laughs> I wanted to hear about how to get a cool, cute girl, too. <laughs> because I'm going to knock you down for the count in one hit. You're gonna KO me? Stop kidding around. Hey, uh, don't ignore your Uncle Ray. I want to know about cute girls. <laughs> if you want to find a cute girl, you can do that easily. It's all about can you get a good girl who's beautiful inside and out. That's very difficult. It is hard to do. Recreation That's why, starter on 10. It's easy to find a girl who's pretty. That's not Oh, hard. yeah, just go to the bar. Recreation time. Not all the girls at the bar are pretty. No, but they generally... kind of hags. But, but generally speaking, there's at least going to be one or two girls at the bar who are cute. Maybe, I don't know. Recreation time. There are people from the outside who come here and sing and dance to entertain the people on the inside. Yeehaw. That's great. That does sound like fun. And you participated in this event? There are a few opportunities to mingle with the outsiders. After recreation time ended, I... returned to this room and went straight to my training. So, what exactly does your training entail? 
to build up stamina and rhythm. I jump rope. What? It's such a small room. Isn't that dangerous for Mr. Bear? I mean, Rocky? Rocky's a smart one. When he sees me grab my rope, he clings to my chest. You are able to jump rope while holding a bear? He's a weight I'll gladly bear. Rocky's my best partner. So today I started my jump rope routine as usual. However... I love Rocky. Rocky's great. Just as I counted to two, I heard a voice shout out, Rog, I've been stabbed! Rog. Could you describe that voice for me? It was the voice of someone whose life was in peril. I could tell. R really? <laughs> That's no laughing matter. And this voice, you heard it quite clearly. Was it a guy or a girl? You've never heard the scream of a cornered man before. I told you, the man was screaming for his life. Of course I heard it clearly. Cool, it's a guy. Sounded like someone in pain calling out for help, but... I feel like I need to do the Carmen Sandiego thing where it's like, jot down the notes, man. <laughs> Red hair. <laughs> Suspect! <laughs> <Yeah>. Camera! <laughs> he just takes off the camera. Can't find him. <laughs> Can't find him now. Was that all? Did he say anything else? That was all. He didn't say anything important after that. When everyone dresses up as Carmen Sandiego in Italy and you're like, yeah. <laughs> That's for me to decide. I'd like to hear it, if you please. If you really want to know that badly, how about I recreate the scene for you right now? No, 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 no. Sorry, that was a stupid thing to ask. Miles, you should apologize too. Did I accidentally give Edgeworth voice for Ray's line? I apologize if I did. This point I don't is know. vital. I'd like to clarify it if possible. Come on, P please bear with us for Uncle Ray's sake. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, I heard the voice, but couldn't do anything since I was locked up in my cell. So I went back to training. You were able to concentrate on your training after that scream. If I were on the outside, I'd probably go over and take a look out of curiosity. However, inside this stupid cell, I'd have to get permission to go anywhere. Have you considered breaking out of prison? That sounds more like something you try to do. If this place wasn't a prison, Mr. Knightley might have been able to get help. I don't believe he could have been saved. Nah, but what if someone had come running to his aid? Albert is clearly lying. But what possible reason would he have to do this? To find out, I'll have to point out the contradiction. Maybe Rocky is the reason that the guy is dead, because he has claws. <laughs> Just clawed the guy in the, the neck. Clawed the guy in the neck? I mean, our cats clawed us before. My cats clawed me in the neck. Because it was really awkward to go to school for the next month, because mm -hmm. people thought I had, like, self-harm scars on my neck. I'm like, nope, I swear, I have, I have a cat, it's fine. Yeah, he was, he died instantly, so oh, he that's couldn't wrong. have screamed out for help. Mr. Elbert, can you hear my voice clearly? Why you? You mocking me? The victim received a fatal blow to the throat. Which means he couldn't possibly have screamed. <clears throat> so why did you hear a non-existent scream? Th that's There should have been a scream. There should have been one? Dana! I ought to rip that smug look off your face! Yeah, you're right! I never heard a scream! The one who heard it was the guy in the next cell! The next cell? Uh, the next cell... Oh, he looks like a piece of work. Nah, what's up? Yeah, I heard the scream. Recreation time had just ended. It happened after we returned to our cells. So then I tell that guy, I heard a great scream. Can you describe that scream for me? Also, what accent is this? I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I never told that guy about the contents of the scream, though. Ah! Someone come quickly! A man's been! Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So it wasn't the victim. But rather, it was the first person to discover the body who screamed. I see! That solves the mystery! So, there was nothing wrong with Mr. Elbert's testimony! Is that really true? Or is there still a problem with Elbert's testimony? When in doubt, there's a problem. No. In this case, a new problem has presented itself. Mr. Elbert, why did you not hear the scream? 
It's odd that he didn't hear the scream, sir. Hey, you! Why didn't you hear the scream, pal? You guys, do you suspect me? I was shut up in this stupid cell the whole time. How could I have killed someone in the workroom? Th that would be impossible, uh, wouldn't it? Yeah, none of us could have killed him. If we could have killed him, we would have already killed you guys by now. Ah! You guys, don't think you're gonna get out of this prison alive! I nearly forgot. Despite being locked inside cages, these guys are still dangerous criminals. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves in a pretty bad situation here. What can I do? I can't talk to them in these circumstances. Overruled! Overruled! Okay, there's who, some British- Who was that? Oh, it's Zelda! Okay. And- and Tingle! Who's this? Okay. I- I know- you're gonna have so much fun voicing her. Is she a judge? She's got a gavel. Also... You finally get to do a British accent. <laughs> please be silent. I don't know. What? Okay. Who are you? Can't you see we're busy here? Silence is golden. What the? Now, your hands. You shall remain silent while under the judgment of the law. You should be thankful. You get to live your life without the need of money. You are to receive the blessings of the goddess of law. It is kind of like Skyward Sword! <laughs> it is... I'm not uh, wrong. God, if you would please. This is where the case really starts getting interesting. <laughs> oh, do I get to be one? Sure, you can be this guard. Congratulations, you get to spend the night in the disciplinary room. <laughs> you are the disciplinary room. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Th that's th no, not there. Anywhere but there. Oh, we only talked once. Accept this wonderful blessing. Overruled. <laughs> Let your heart be re reborn. Cast away your sins. Stop it! No! Who's the weird boy with her? Oh, goddess of law, give this man your blessings. I thank thee. You are... Also, her theme music is my favorite it's character beautiful. theme. I like ever. My name is Justine Courtney. Courtney? That's not... Courtney. I'm gonna sound very weird. I am privileged to be a judge. An emissary of the strength of the law. A judge, you say? Why are you here? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I came to meet with you personally. I convey the will of the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. That is my appointed task. Prosecutorial Investigation Committee? What's that? Do not use the name so lightly. Those are the sacred words of the go goddess of law. Since Lil' K doesn't know, Uncle Ray will explain it I for her. I thought she was gonna be like, Uncle Ray will give her a hug. <laughs> The PIC is an assembly comprised of 11 members. Ooh, it's like the Organization 13. <laughs> yes, exactly like that. They all wear hoodies. <laughs> they all try to kill uh, Sora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> their job is to check if prosecutors are doing their jobs properly. If I'm not mistaken, its members are elected from politicians and those of the legal profession. So, I take it you are one of those members? Indeed. I am thankful they judged me worthy of such a task. I, too, am thankful that I was able to meet you here. Ahem. <laughs> How about a hug of thankfulness? Overruled! Overruled! <laughs> the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee also shares deep ties with the ba with the Bar Association. With the Bar Association. <laughs> now you're getting into Scottish territory. Hey, I was just kidding. No need to make such a scary face. Uh, so your job is to find bad prosecutors and punish them. Oh, are she the one who killed uh, Man from Von Karma? Wow! That'd be cool! So I guess that is her block of hair. Yep. Also, it looks up here, it looks like it's just cut in half. Also, I forgot how creepy this music is. <laughs> this isn't her theme music, this is the PIC oh. theme music. Oh, okay. <laughs> well said. May you be blessed by the goddess of law. Well said. I did kill Man from Von Karma. <laughs> uh huh. Our job is to remove problematic prosecutors from their cases. 
And so those people not fit to be prosecutors will be stripped of their prosecutorial badge. What? What business does this whatchamacallit committee have with Mr. Edgeworth, pal? We're in the middle of an investigation here. She looks terrifying. This is one of the characters that's gonna wait, challenge wait, my vocal range. Wait, but what range. about me? I could do it. Wow, you thick. Seriously, how thick-headed can you be? Just who do you think you are, pal? Me? I'm a prosecutor. Sebastian DeBest is my name. You're fine. Haven't you heard of me? At the prosecutor's office, everyone calls me the best. This yeah. is gonna hurt your voice? Why? <laughs> Did you hear his objection? He's like, OBJECTION! <laughs> it's objection. super whiny. OBJECTION! <laughs> this is- Okay, apparently this was the hardest character to translate by like a mile. Well, that makes sense though, because he's like this weird Brit in this version. I don't know what- I don't think saying. he's a Brit. Uh, maybe he's- I don't know. His like Japanese voice is like, Kenyani. Oh, so- Kenyani, uh, so I guess his wings are not his wings. It's like a cape, almost, like looks, a jacket. I mean, he looks like Prince Charming if Prince Charming didn't cut his hair for, like, a year. <laughs> He's also what many people agree is, like, the most annoying character in the game. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's so annoying. <laughs> we'll find out. Ah, I'm so beloved there. He does look like, um, uh, bleh, Oliver from, yeah. From... From Nino Kuni. Oh, I still need to play that. He just. I got you that game in December! Marty, you do realize I still haven't played Link's Crossbow Training, which I got like 10 years ago. Okay, right? but that's Link's Crossbow Training. I got you that game a while ago. Yeah. We've I... been in quarantine! You can play the game? I've been playing other things like Animal Crossing and Mega Man 11 and uh, Mario Odyssey and getting all the that? Mario Kart stuff. I beat Odyssey now. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm how? Doing other I've, I'm recording stuff. You're good. I've never heard of you. Hey, you, Mr. Flatfoot. You've heard of me, right? This is the first time, pal. Oh, well, it can't be helped. Is he holding a sword? A baton. Oh. There's no way someone who's so thick on the intake could have good ears. Don't you mean slow on the uptake? Me? I suppose it's only natural as Sebastian only became a, a become, become he has done become a prosecutor last a month. A prosecutor last month. He's just a rookie prosecutor. Right, the best rookie prosecutor in the office, cause I'm the best. <laughs> or so he plans to be. Mr. Edgeworth, I'm here to clean up the mess you made. What do you mean? The PIC intends to have me replaced. That much is clear. Mr. DeBest, I know what you're trying to say. However, I have not been informed of this. There can only be there can only be one British person, person in who this is a uh, Ace Attorney. Okay. There can only be one British well, prosecutor. But Edgeworth's like faux British. Sort of. Here's the thing, though. Edgeworth, his thing is like he's kind of a Brit and he drinks tea. And has basketball a red boy, card. he plays basketball. Winston, Winston Payne, Payne, he loses. He's old. Um, <laughs> Francisca Von Karma has her whip. Godot likes coffee. Godot Clavier likes coffee. is actually nice and is a rock star. He's a rock star. Um, uh, and then Burn Farday is like... <laughs> <laughs> Neil Marshall was a cowboy. Who is the... Lana Skye was like the noble woman. Yeah, she was like a Fire Emblem character. He's also a Fire Emblem character. But she probably had different... She made scars, right? No, she had a scar. She made scars? Scars! <laughs> <laughs> With a V! Oh, oh, oops. Not she, I make scar she plushies and sell, scar <laughs> and sell them at Disney World. No, I thought you were talking about, like, I make scars. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, I would like an explanation. Very well. This judgment has been passed down under the name of the Goddess of Law. The incident at the President's welcoming event and the murder of Horace Knightley... The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has... Commute, anyway. Commute. <laughs> Commute. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee has decreed that you will be taken off of this case. And Sebastian has been appointed to take over the case. That is all. Wh what You can't just take him off the case like that, pal! Just let him not be on the case. Your Honor, I thought I asked for an explanation. The judgment is guilty. The Goddess of Law's verdict is absolute. I have done nothing to warrant being taken off of this also, case. Also, how is this voice? Is she like... It's... It's not what I would have given her, but it is a British accent. Her, her objection voice is like, overruled! So I'd expect her to be like, the Prosecutorial Investigation Committee is... Uh, it's yeah. more like a queen. The Prosecutorial Investigation Committee. Yeah, that's a bit more... Okay, okay. 
Your voice isn't you know, bad, it's just you know different game, than what I you expected. Know the game Some of it is she keeps being like, the goddess of law, and I keep being like, oh, she's this dainty little prairie She woman. can get mad, though. You don't remember? Very well. In that case, I shall remind you of your past crimes. You boarded the president's plane, which was protected by extraterritorial rights. No, it's... Oh, yes, it is. And then, of all things, you ordered a search of the president's personnel. A single mistake could have sparked an international incident. But I didn't make a mistake. <laughs> oh, she's like Fawn Karma. You crossed the line as a prosecutor. You've gravely overstepped your authority. I'll admit, my actions may have gone against the rules. However, if I had not taken that risk, I'm certain the truth would have never been found. I have never considered my actions as a mistake. So, you're saying that as long as the ends justify the means, it's alright to ignore the rules? That's an extremely dangerous way of thinking. I really like this voice though, yeah. <laughs> No one is above the rules. That is the spirit of law. I hope we hear Sebastian's objection voice again. I'm sorry, but I cannot accept your way of thinking. Oh, wait, are, they, are there pro profiles here now? Yes, they are. Justin Courtney, 26? And she's a judge? judge? She's a judge of the mem uh, prosecutorial <laughs> investigation committee. She's, not, she's a member of that. She's not what the judge this, of them. What did this girl do? <laughs> to get there, did she like? She's literally the queen. She's literally the queen. <laughs> Sebastian the best seventeen. Look at that smug I'm smile. Seventeen. <laughs> Rookie prosecutor nominated by the PIC to take over the case. Man, who you would all that? stink. No <laughs> one would go to prom with him. <laughs> oh, oof. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He's I such a stinker. That's I why. can't accept your way of thinking. I see. That's a shame. Even so. The gavel must slam down at the conclusion of a trial. Even if you, or the defense attorney, or the suspect do not consent to the ver verdict, all you can do is accept the blessings of the goddess of law. You wanted a female judge for a long time, and now we have I one. I know. I'm very happy about <laughs> this. Well, it's kind of like, yeah, there weren't any female judges. There was literally the, the judge, the judge's brother, eh? And that's uh, literally it. <laughs> <laughs> or will you fight it and risk losing your badge? She means to take my badge if I don't obey. Oh, that's too bad. I think he summoned her. It seems you understand. Now then, guards, please proceed. Wait, what happened to the other animals? Hold it right there! Hey, what, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be on our side? You should listen to the new prosecutor in charge. I don't want to work for you, pal. <laughs> but isn't that the job of a flatfoot? We're at an overwhelming disadvantage here. It's useless to resist any longer. Detective Gumshoe, you are now under Mr. DeBest's authority. B but that's terrible. He sucks. <laughs> your honor? Yes, what is it? This does not mean I have accepted your decision. We will meet again. Certainly. I look forward to that day. Let's go, Kay. Yeah! <laughs> that was the most... Yeah! No. Look, look, there's a parrot! It's Polly! It's a parrot! Polly's here! Does that mean Yanny Yogi's in this here? Yanny Yogi's dead. Are you kidding me? No. That guy definitely died in the last five years that we did that case. He's in prison, probably. Okay. Wait, don't forget... I'll be reporting today's events to that person. Ooh! Oh, wow, you fun. To be continued. So we met one Geralt. One Geralt. That's Ger right. Geralt. So, what do you think of the case so far? It's interesting. I, I knew you'd know, love Courtney. I want to know more. I want to know more about the animals and what they heard. I want to ask the parrot. I want to... <laughs> I knew you'd like Courtney. Yeah, like, I cool. knew you would love voicing Courtney. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be <laughs> She's fun. a very interesting character. Is Sebastian she... is so annoying, though. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, I could do it. No. No. Yeah. I'm I mean, if you Sebastian get tired. Voice. We'll see. Probably not, though. You have a good but, voice for oh, it, though. Oh, thank you. 
I, I, I wanted to, but he, he's one of the characters where I'm like, I need to voice him well. I need to voice him well. He breaks down and then he turns into a goth metal rocker. <laughs> on a unicycle. <laughs> like you predicted. <laughs> but believe, there's one other character that I think we're going to meet like as soon as the next episode begins. That's like, I'm going to be like, oh man, that is going to destroy my oh voice my probably. God. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless. Bye.